Have you ever added a list to a site page in SharePoint and you have that annoying little interaction where people can select an item, even though you want this to really be kind of a read only type of interface? Well, if that's you, I've got a really simple solution for you using JSON formatting. It is an incredibly small snippet and you're gonna love this thing. It's gonna level up and solve that problem for you. Sound like fun? Let's get into it. So first, let's set this problem up. I'm going to edit this site page and I'm going to add in. Let's add a section down here. Actually, let's change this section to uh, one third right. And then we'll add in the list web part and select. We'll just add in this links one. And actually, for that particular list, it's a little bit small. Let's change this around. Uh, we'll try it this way. OK, that's better. So we've got our list items. If we republish, we'll see that problem here. We'll see the little selection buttons. Now the command bar and all that, that's easy to fix because if we go back into the list web part, we can turn off the command bar. We can hide the show all button and now those are gone. But we've still got that annoying problem where you see the, the little circles and it's like, it, it doesn't serve any purpose for someone to select these. So why, why do we want it there? Well, we don't. And that's what we're going to get rid of. Let's go to the list itself and we'll address that problem there. So we're on the list itself. Here's how we're going to fix that. We're going to add a new view because we really don't want to change the all items view. We'll add a new view and we'll call it simple. We'll make it a public view. That's that's an important step. And we'll just click create. So now we've really got the same thing as all items, but now we can customize this without affecting that default view. Now we're going to go to format current, uh, the, the, hit the drop down list for the the view heading and go to format current view. And then in advanced mode, we'll see that the, we'll see the default JSON here. We're going to replace that. And to do that, we're going to go over to this particular JSON sample that walks us through how to do this. So it's called disable selection. You'll see a preview of what it does. It just takes that little dot away, the circle away, the selection dot from all of the items. That's exactly what we want. This was created by Chris Kent, one of the biggest legends in the JSON formatting community. Thank you, Chris, for this. This was awesome. And it was created quite a while ago. So if you haven't seen this yet, you need to spend some time in, in this particular uh, repo to see all the different things that Chris and a lot of other people have created and are just completely free to use. I've been covering these for, for quite a while now on my channel. In fact, I've got a playlist you'll see in the top corner of, of what things you can do with this. At the top, you'll click on this disable selection.json file. It's that's it. It's just what four lines and half of that is just the little curly braces to denote a JSON object. All we've got to do is over on the top right, you'll see copy raw file. We're going to copy this and then we're going to delete everything that was in here because this is all we need. In fact, you probably could have just copied that one line for hide selection. But for me, it's easier to just delete all and paste everything. So if we save this, We'll see the dot gone over here. And if we go back to our page, we won't see it here yet, but that's because this is still using the all items view. We need to go back into edit mode and we need to change the view from all items to simple. Now, if we hit apply, the selection dot is gone. Let's republish the page. And now there's no way to select anything. They just see the content itself and not any of the extra stuff around it, like the the the, the command bar or see all items or the, or most most importantly in this case that selection dot. It's completely gone. 
So just a fun, quick tip for you. So if you're embedding lists or, or libraries into your pages, it's just a, a really fun way to just clean that thing up. Now this JSON stuff can cover a lot of different functionality like this. You could add custom pop-ups, you could add a lot of custom functionality, you know, sometimes with just one line like you saw. If you're interested, I've got a link in the description below for my JSON formatting course, where I walk you through the whole thing from all the way from what JSON is to how to do really complex layouts, just taking you step by step. And if you want to see another great JSON formatting example, then click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.